Today we're going to talk about the one thing that you need in business to win. This is one important tactic trait that virtually everyone who has a successful business has mastered or has partnered up with someone who is the master of this. You need this one thing. You need to become good. Just becoming good, you'll have a six to potentially seven figure income if you're just good. If you become excellent, you will be rest assured to make seven, eight, and in some cases, nine figures per year company growth. For those of you who want to drastically improve their business, stay tuned. YouTube's a hater. What I want you to do is go below and get on the YouTube notification list. YouTube will not send you updates to my videos. YouTube will, I don't care if you tickle the bell, press this, do whatever, it doesn't matter. Go below, get on the YouTube notification list. And I have some special stuff for you guys later. But with that, let's get into this one thing. In the early 70s, Steve Jobs and another guy who starts with a W, they launched Apple computer. Now Steve Jobs was quote, the visionary. And at first he didn't make it. Apple almost didn't make it, do the research on that. Somehow he became a salesperson. He became the de facto head of Apple. His matriculation into becoming this salesperson is a testament to personal fortitude and gut-wrenching decisions. For you to grow your business, this one thing that you need is someone in your organization to become a bona fide salesperson. This is a person who can get in front of customers, investors, anyone that needs to be sold on the ideal of your company to move it forward. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how many angel investors you have. If you do not have someone in your company who can light up that sales floor, nothing's gonna happen. You can have the smartest people, but if they can't sell, Damon John, Ashton Kutcher, and another person sunk $7 million into this company with the false assumption because they had so much star power behind the brand that it would be successful. Didn't happen. They actually folded this. Google the Damon Johns talk where he talks about it. It's like, it just didn't work. Yet here on Instagram, Facebook, you have people who are relatively unknowns who are selling every day as if their life depended upon it and they're making money and they're growing their companies. Let's talk about Amazon FBA. There are many people who are very proficient with Amazon FBA. They know how to advertise for it. They know how to rearrange the listing, but these folks are not salespeople and I'm gonna prove it to you. If you take that person out of the Amazon FBA system and it said, you go over here and start another business, they would fail instantly. Amazon, on the other hand, is a great salesperson. It's a selling institution. Amazon has many folks sold, so when these folks go under the wings of Amazon, they can too become successful. But if they had to go out and start a business that did not have the pro prophylactic protection of Amazon, they would fail. And this brings up another interesting fact. You ever notice how when people start making money a certain way, they can't do anything else? When I was selling office furniture, what did I do? I, I started an office furniture business, but I had a weird little thing that happened where, whoa, there's more profit in this used stuff, which led me to the storage auction business. However, if I hadn't had that first disastrous year, I would probably be still selling office furniture. Once you start making money a certain way, it becomes very hard for you to change. Either you're gonna change through personal for you know you're going to change because you made a decision to change or you're going to change because you're forced to change and the second thing happens more often than not once you learn how to sell and we're going to define what is selling because people are like learn how to sell learn how to sell what is selling selling is number one identifying 
an audience or marketplace that needs your service. Let's say you're selling ice cream and you go to Russia and you got your little ice cream cart and you're pushing it through the snow and you're trying to get these Russians to buy ice cream. They ain't buying because they're you didn't do your homework. Now, if you were in Russia and you was like, hey, I'm going to put down this ice cream cart. I'm going to sell hot whiskey. Then you, you know, if you know anything about Russia for after the collapse of the Soviet Union, a lot of the men died due to alcoholism. They're heavy drinkers over there. So you're just like hot whiskey here, hot whiskey there. All of a sudden you're making sales because your product aligns with what they want. Once again, you see this every day of the week. You have people here on the internet, people on YouTube, people on Facebook, trying to sell people who don't want their product, their product. And they're frustrated, they're upset, they're seeking answers. And this one step is so powerful. Take YouTube. Channels that don't do YouTubing, YouTubing, where we do the playlist, we do the proper keyword. They don't do none of that. But because they have identified or they're serving a specific audience, they blow up. You know, the first thing you got to do if you want to learn how to sell is nail down your audience. Like I have a situation going on right now with Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. I have a ton of people who signed up for free courses. And now that I'm sending emails through the platform, they're like bailing like cats out of a wheelbarrow. Take me off this list, man. Stop sending me this. And you know, uh, today I sent out a few. It's like, sure. And you lose access to these 19 courses that I'm selling for 1200 bucks. I got some responses back. It's like, really? Sorry. You want it off the list. You're off the list. Goodbye. Once again, now what went wrong? I made some false assumptions. I, strangely enough, thought that most people wanted personal liberty and wanted to own their life and forge forward into personal accountability by starting a business. I was so wrong. So many people don't want to own a business. So many people do not want to do the work to own a business. They want the results of that business, but they don't want the responsibility. And this is a big part of the world. It's not an American problem. It's not a British problem. This is a human problem that I want what I want, but I don't want the risk. I don't want the headaches. I don't want any of that. I just want what I want. So these people heard like, hey, 19 free business courses. And then when they got into the reality that they had to actually open them up and they had to do something, they were like, miss me with that. So this brings up a very interesting point because of my misplaced priorities and misplaced assumptions, it failed and it jacked up my email list because going forward, and this is a video about how to sell, I am creating new content and such as this to identify people who want to be architects of their life who want to be in the driver's seat, who want to shift those gears, who want to make money and leave money for their kids and forge a new financial destiny for their families, which ain't most people, just facts. Most people don't want to do the work. But if you're watching this video, more than likely you are someone that wants to do the work because this one skill set is so important that you have people who know how to sell who have beat millionaires and billionaires at the money game. Many millionaires and many billionaires had a head start, uh, a leg up, and they never had to be down there in that white space of selling, of building a business from scratch. So that they don't know how to do. They know how to play the game at this level, but they don't know how to go from this level to this level. And that's one of the things that we're going to do here at Money, Income and Profit we're going to start taking people and pushing them to be the best person they can be economically. Because once again, if you know how to sell, number one, identify a market or an audience. Number two, learn how to speak to that audience. Number three, learn how to set up a presentation. And number four, learn how to close. 
if you can do those four things, which is pretty much selling, and there's more variables to it, but those are the main points. If you could do that, you'll never be broke again. You'll never not have money again. You will never ever be in a situation where you got to be hiding your car because the repo man is coming for your stuff. Would you like that? Would you like to learn how to sell? And also don't go ahead and like me, 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 me. And you know, you just talking to be talking. One of the things that we're going to do here is teach you how to sell the correct way. Once again, if you're selling some stuff, you have a business and no one's buying, more than likely your product and your audience are misaligned. Because when your product and your audience are aligned, that's what happens. It just, it just flows like that. So that's all I have for you guys today. Once again, YouTube's a hater. Go below, get on the YouTube email notification list and I have a few things for the people of various economic levels. If you don't have any money, just watch the videos. I've got well over 2000. Watch the videos, learn how to start a service business and come up. If you got a little bit of money, I have the side hustle starter kit. It's a hundred hours of training to help you be creative. And if that's not enough for you and you got a little bit more money, you can get into H undergrad. It's a collection of 23 courses that help you build a business. It's 1200 bucks. And for those of you who want something special, we're starting something new on how to develop online businesses that will kick off next week. The email list for that people. And once again, if you're a member of H undergrad, you get this for the new people. I'm going to make two offers. You can go ahead and sign up for the first module one price and you're done or you can sign up for all of the modules and I'll do a special video about that later. I will make you a deal. So with that, that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next video.